But when you ask people, what's your understanding of how you do social design? How do you make places which don't become sinks? How do you make places which people don't want to burn down? How do you make places where you know, there is a, a, an unbridgeable division between perhaps races, as happened at Broadwater Farm? They simply don't know. None of that is part of the everyday knowledge of many of the decision makers now in Britain who are planning, designing and building the places where the rest of us uh, have to live. And so we're trying to ask the questions partly here but also in China where this is happening even more glaringly where the new developments are ignoring almost everything that's been learnt about how you make places livable. To get a bit of a focus I think very much as Paul was saying, on the fine-grained details of not, not the big plans, but the small things which make places work, some of which are about very easy things about lines of sight, about the exact balance between publicness and privacy and how people interact, uh, some of which are, are less physical, but which are about how around places do you create a, a sense of mythology, stories, boundaries, the things which make places have belonging and identity, some of which are about a social organisation, leadership, uh, and so on. Some of them are about uh, economy. And I think some also about assets. And the only thing I disagree with Paul about is I think actually community-owned energy may turn out to be a, a, more, a more successful economic model than very large-scale generation or uh, the, 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 the solar panels on the house. But at least we should try and discover. The key, I think, is that in all of these developments... The most important uh, sort of condition for success is precisely the opposite of the total plan. It's what we would call incompleteness. The best urban developments offer some vision, some elements, some infrastructure, but then allow an organic process of adaptation around that. And that has been true throughout human history. Got forgotten dramatically in the 60s and 70s. Risks being forgotten again now in some of the plans being developed uh, around the world. And our fear is that ahead of a time potentially of significantly less material prosperity in the private sector, a time of uh, public spending cuts which will hit communities like the Broadwater Farms very hard, we may be seeing visions like that again. And our fear is of repeating history quite unnecessarily because of forgetting what had already been known. And my simple plea really, for this discussion is that all the most attractive visions should try, so far as they can, to go with some of the grains of human nature, to have social design alongside civil engineering uh, and architecture, to learn from life what actually does make places fun, safe, warm, convivial, uh, and so on. Because if we don't, it's not only bad for the people who live in those places, actually it's pretty bad for the investors as well because their asset values turn out to be <coughs> close to zero. Thank you.